How's it going, nerds? Good to see you. Welcome back to Two Point Hospital. I hope you're having a good one because I'm excited to be back. Things are going okay in clock back, whatever the map's called. I don't, I don't, I've forgotten what the hospital's called. I've completely forgotten what the hospital's called. The point being, things are going okay. We have a bit of money. We're making a little bit of money. And I've made a couple of changes since the last episode. So, let's take a look and see what's going on. See if we can get this thing up to a two-star hospital. Because honestly, once it's a two-star hospital, I'm probably gonna just move on to another hospital. Because this one's taking much longer than I'm willing to spend on it. I don't want to spend this entire week playing just this hospital. I just, I just don't. Now, we need a fracture ward. Let's get the patient to wait because we might be able to do that shortly. We're also seeing massive queues still at GP's offices. We're seeing them down here as well. And uh, that's, that's not good. We also had a bit of a queue at the reception there, but I think we're getting through it. Now, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we could go ahead and we could get rid of these GP's offices and replace them with diagnosis rooms and then move. So these two diagnosis rooms down there, move the pharmacy down there and put all of our GP's offices, as many as possible anyway, into this space. I think that might be a good idea. I think that might work out. It might just help people get diagnosed or at least sent to where they need to go a little bit quicker. So we'll see if that ends up working. Hopefully it does. We've also managed to upgrade four machines in the path to being a two-star hospital. And I managed to cure four of six people with codpiece in a recent emergency that came up. Now, what is this? You want promoted? Sure, we'll do that. Now, we'll see. Oh man, this place is filthy. It really is, and all my plants are dying as well. The hospital's really not doing well right now. Oh God. Film star and popular caricature subject, Roderick Cushion is growing tired of life in the spotlight and would like to visit our hospital where he hopes no one will recognize him. Oh boy. Oh boy. Also, people are refusing to pay some of the prices. I guess people aren't thrilled with it, but I'm, I'm gonna keep the prices kind of where they are just because I think we can probably get the reputation up a little bit and make it okay. Now, I mentioned some changes between episodes. What I've gone ahead and done is hired a few more janitors who will hopefully do some good things for us. And I'm thinking I'm going to hire a couple more because we need ones that can do maintenance and ghost hunting. And I'm thinking we're also probably going to want to... Uh, we'll go for Donald's compost because what I can do with Donald is train him in, uh, in whatever. So mechanics, for example, wouldn't be a bad idea. And we'll have one of the other janitors deal with that that way you can go around and upgrade things and hopefully we can keep everything you know going good essentially hopefully we'll certainly see now they're gonna head off and do that but i mentioned changes between episodes a janitor is not the only one i also went and bought this and decided to get a jet the hell is going on what the f what what staff resignation warning why you're underpaid, you're thirsty, and you want you want training. Why did I say Thursday? Why did I say Thursday? You're thirsty. Who who was it? <laughs> I don't it was Hannibal Hannibal something. Hannibal Pound. Okay, well we can pay you, bud. Alright, we'll give you we'll give you money, and that'll cheer you up a bit. I don't I don't know how to feel about the fact that we just apparently had an earthquake. At least I think that's what that was. I'm assuming that's what it was. Anyway, we have a couple of things that we need to do. We did get this, and that's great. We need a fracture clinic as well, apparently. Now, is that some... I do have a fracture ward, so I guess... I guess we get one of those. It has to be minimum four by three. So if I was to do this, I guess that kind of works. We can put the door right there. And it is just another ward, isn't it? So... I mean, I, I guess it can kind of live... Oh my god. That bed is huge. Can I can I get two of them? I can. Yeah, that that's 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 about as good as this is gonna be, I think. That is about as good as, as this room's gonna be. It's it's not we're, not... we're not gonna have much space to put things in here, but sure. So we'll go ahead and put a couple of filing cabinets. We'll get this thing a, a bin. We'll get it a fire extinguisher, because that's obviously kind of important. 
Uh, we'll get a radiator so people aren't going to be complaining about being cold, which I can put right in there. Bit of a weird spot for it, but it does the job. And uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll put a, a, a canvas up on the wall because it's kind of fancy. And that'll be... That'll be the fracture clinic, so that'll keep people kind of happy, and we can put a nurse in there. So, let me go go ahead and hire, I, I can't speak today, um, Bertie Asparagus. <laughs> You'll do, bud. Uh, so you can work in there, is what you can do. Now, you want promoted, Bosworth Binge will promote you, that's fine. We should have some people coming over here, though, which is great. We've also cheered up that employee, which is also great. So that's going to deal with some of those issues, but we still have the problem of the GP's offices and reception having massive queues. So let me do a couple of things here. Let me go ahead and sell this room. We're going to sell this room as well, and we're going to sell the pharmacy too, right? And then what we're going to do is grab this GP's office. I don't, I want to, I want to just move the entire room down into that corner, and that's fine. And then we're going to grab this GP's office, we're going to edit it, move the entire room, and it's going to go live about there, and that's fine. Then we're going to grab this one, edit it, and we're going to move it to wherever we can really get it, which is going to be about there. Now we're going to have to just rearrange things slightly, but that's okay. Uh, we can get rid of the door move the plants there and we can put the door right in uh, that spot and that should be fine and uh, I don't know we could make it kind of fancier if I wanted to but I think we'll just leave it as is but what I can do I've just realized is I can put a little plant right about there just to try and make that space kind of nicer I can put one there too we do have plants in that area but they're all dead right now because we haven't managed to um look after them in any way shape or form so you know it it, it happens it happens, right? It's just it's just how it is. Now, what we do want to do is copy this guy. And we're going to put you there. And then we're going to go copy this guy. We're going to put you about there. And that'll be fine. And then we just need a pharmacy. So the pharmacy, just same as the rest of them, goes right about there. I'm still standing by, this is a hill I will die on, that the pharmacy does not need to be 3x3. Three three. It could absolutely be smaller. It really should be smaller. It just, it just should. I'm just, I'm just saying, all right? It really, it really could be a fair bit smaller. But regardless, we have a new pharmacy, so it can live right about there. We have all of our GP's offices over here, so that's hopefully going to help things a little bit. I don't know that it will, but hopefully. I, I, I really hope so. I really, really do. Now, we need to redo reception. So all of this needs to go away. There we go. This doesn't look too bad. There's no chairs, but it's a reception at the very least. Not really sure what we're going to do about the chair situation either, but it's a reception at the very least. I mean, maybe a chair there and there. I, I guess that works. It's not ideal, but it works. So <laughs> I think it's what we're going to do. Um, I could probably squeeze some chairs up here as well if I move things around a little bit. Which I don't hate the idea of doing. So, let me move this leaflet stand down beside the bin. Not exactly the most luxurious place for it, but it's it's where it's going to live. Um, actually, we've created a bit of a, a problem here. We kind of need to, I think, move everything around a bit. So the leaflet stand needs to go... We, we want to make sure we're not blocking these spaces too much because these are relatively narrow corridors. So, I think having anything there is, is going to be less than ideal. So, if I go and get myself a new leaflet stand, I want to put it as close to the air conditioning as I can. And on this side, kind of the same thing. Because I'm hoping that I can squeeze a bench in between the leaflet stand and the plant, which I can't, unfortunately, so I'm going to get rid of the plant. That is going to make this space really narrow up here, but to be honest, I think we kind of need the benches, uh, so that's just going to be the way of it. And then I wonder, can I get a plant next to the bench? No, just, just about no, unfortunately. I can get one there, though, 
and I can get one there, so that's going to help the area a little bit. And I could do a plant there and there, I suppose, which, yeah, that looks all right. That makes the area just a little bit nicer. Um, I can put one here as well if I want to, and here? No, I can't put one there, so that's fine. So we'll just get rid of you, and that looks fine. So we have some benches around the area. We don't have anywhere near as many as we used to, but it's probably all right. I mean, we could, if we wanted to, put a bench, you know, yeah, we can't put one there. That's, it's whatever. It's, it's what it is. All right. So it'll do. It's a better reception at the very least. It's probably going to cause problems for the GP's offices. But again, we're just kind of going to have to deal with that. It's just the way it's going to be. I do think we probably want to look into solutions for seating. I probably could have went with a smaller reception. I probably don't need four receptionists, but it's what we have right now. So it's what we're dealing with right now. And it's just how it is. Uh, now looking down here, these guys aren't too busy yet. You guys aren't too busy right now. It's just the GP's offices. So hopefully, hopefully moving everything around kind of helps. I'm really, I'm really hoping it helps. <laughs> I really want it to help. I don't think it will, but I hope it does. Oh, it's the end of the year. What do we get in terms of prizes? I'm assuming no deaths. <laughs> Everything but. Every time. Every time. I always get to this point where I have a great hospital by all accounts, except we keep killing people. Which, now that I think about it, it probably doesn't make it a great hospital. You know, it's it's great. It's an amazing hospital, except everybody dies. It's, it's not really, hmm. It's not usually much of a... Uh, selling point, is it? Uh, reducing prices a bit would help improve our hospital reputation. Okay. Well, we have 220,000, so I assume I can reset everybody back to sort of normal prices. I, I'm hoping that doesn't hurt the income too much. I'm really hoping it doesn't, it doesn't hurt the income. Now, these GP's offices are still absolutely packed with people, so I'm wondering if I should just get more. Also, what is this? Oh, we got a free 10 grand. Okay. I think we're just going to get more. I do. I think we're just going to copy a GP's office. We'll slap it right about there. We'll copy this one. We can slap it right over here. It does make this a bit of a narrow space to work in, but I think we're just going to deal with that. And I think I'm just going to move this door as well, because that's slightly annoying me that they're not the same. Um, Some pretty chunky cues right there. Not ideal, but... I'm sure we'll be all right. And we'll go ahead and put a uh, drinks machine at the end of that corridor. We can do a radiator right at this corner to keep people nice and warm. Uh, we can do a bench sort of there so people have somewhere to sit. And we can do a bunch of benches sort of along this wall a little bit with a... Uh, I guess we can do a radiator opposite. So we'll do a radiator in that corner. We'll do a nice plant next to it just to make it kind of a nice little area I guess uh, and I'm kind of wanting to put maybe another plant here another uh, probably another bench though given it's GP's offices so we'll do another bench there then we'll go ahead and do we'll just do benches opposite as well because this area is probably going to be kind of busy so something like that uh, we can take you out we'll take you out and we'll do a snack machine and we'll do a salty snack machine. And then we can throw in something like a leaflet stand just to reduce boredom a little bit. And uh, a leaflet stand just to reduce boredom a little bit. So that should keep everybody happy. Gives them plenty of space to sit. Hopefully, that deals with the issue with the GP's offices. It does look like we have fewer queues, but I don't know if we have doctors elsewhere now. Uh, you want to be a consultant. Okay, I don't really know what you do. We'll promote you. What are you? You're a junior nurse. Okay, well, let's give you treatment two. We'll bring in a guest trainer and we'll give, I guess, I, I want to give the nurses treatment two, I think. Right? That, that seems like a better way to go about things. So, I don't think I'm going to forgive myself for having, you know, four people going and being trained right now, but we're going to deal with it. Uh, now, I am going to hire another doctor as well. We'll get Chuck Mojo, which is an amazing name. 
and we'll hope that uh, we'll hope we do have enough doctors to deal with everything going on. The good news is, though, aside from there being no nurses in certain spaces, we actually don't have any queues. Oh, of course we do. Okay. All right. Uh, what is this? Reptile dysfunction? Sure. We can we can deal with that. We can absolutely deal with that. Now, hospital attractiveness, 65%. We need to get it to 80%. And that is something I kind of want to do. So, I can't put a plant in there. I could, we could probably do with a plant in there, to be completely honest. It would brighten the place up a little bit. So, let me move one of these benches to sort of the middle there. Let me put a plant right there and there. And that's made it a little bit nicer. Uh, we can do a plant right there as well, just to make that space a bit brighter. We can do a plant in there as well, just to make it a bit nicer. We could put some plants in the GP's offices, or extra plants in the GP's offices, which actually, I think we're going to do to all of them, just to make them all that little bit nicer. So we can do like another plant by the door there. We can do a plant right about there. And... Yeah, that, that makes it a bit nicer. Um, it'd be nice to do one down in that corner as well, but I don't think we're going to get that chance. So that's fine. Uh, looking up this way, we are definitely in need of something to make this place a bit nicer. So a plant there kind of blocks it, though. Ugh. Okay, hold on a minute. What can we do? Can I get a plant like here that doesn't block the room? Yeah, so that works. And then what else can we do? Um, hmm. I guess one by this door would be a bit of an idea. So like there, and then move the fire extinguisher along a little bit, right? So put it there. Makes it a bit brighter. Uh, we can go here as well. We can go next to that leaflet stand. We can't go down in this corridor, but that's okay. We do have a lot of room here that I want to do some stuff with. So let's maybe do a plant there. And I think that kind of works up to 70% on hospital attractiveness, which is good. I like that it's just plants. I like that all I need to do is throw some plants around the hospital and everything's fine. It's great. If only I could make, you know, my, my off, actually, honestly, my office would be a lot nicer with some plants in it. To, uh, to be completely truthful. It really would. I need to get some plants in here. Okay. There are plants absolutely everywhere in this hospital now. And I've also added some nice canvases to the walls because I think it's gonna make it look a little bit fancy. So that's nice. We've also discovered fractured timeline. Okay, well, what do we need for that? A fracture ward, that's all right. You want promoted, we'll give you a bit of a promotion. You want promoted, we'll give you a bit of a promotion. And you want trained. Okay, well, psychiatry too would not be a bad thing to train people up in. So, we'll do that. We'll get you to do it. And it's a little bit expensive. It is going to slow down the... Oh, God. I just decided to train them in the middle of an emergency. I am a genius. I, I am the smartest, smartest person that has ever lived. It's just a fact. It's just... I am a genius. I... Just simple as that. Oh, well, that's a shame. Uh, what do we... What do we need... So you, what, I don't know what you had. You had the, the rose thing. I don't remember how we treat that. You go into a GP's office though. Send for treatment. Oh, that reminds me. So if we go to illnesses, there's, there's a thing. Oh, there's a thing we can do. And I don't remember exactly where it is. It might be in here somewhere. Policy. Yeah. So. We can potentially... We can promote staff automatically, which I'm going to do. What I'm thinking... Is... We can allow diagnosis staff to send patients directly for treatment when their diagnosis certainty is at or above the diagnosis threshold without referral back to a GP for final diagnosis. I'm going to say yes on that because it might help the GPs a little bit. And I'm going to bring our threshold down to about 80%. It might be risky, but we're going to do it. And then I'm pretty sure there's more policy stuff we can look into. 
But uh, what is it? Staff leave rooms when idle. Allow staff to leave the room they're working in if they've been idle for some time. Otherwise, they will stay in the room until they're called to a higher priority job or go on a break. I'm going to say no. I'm going to let them stay in their rooms. Uh, I know there are other policy things somewhere, I think. But I think this will be okay. I'm also going to say Q warnings aren't until there's like, yeah, we'll keep it at six people, actually. So that should be fine. That's okay. There's a, it's a time storm is what that's called. Interesting. Okay, what is this? Get a level st level five staff room? I don't, I don't think so, bud. I don't, I don't think so. It's not, it's not gonna happen. I'm afraid. Uh, now we do still have some queues within the GP's offices, so it might not be a bad idea to get more of those. Might not be. I'm not thrilled at the idea of getting more GP's offices because I would like to put other things in here, but it doesn't seem like we need it. So. Well, actually, the queues in the GP's offices might go down once people are diagnosed with whatever they got. What is this? We cured three of six? Eh. Meh. It'll do. Uh, we we really do have a lot of queues here. Okay. I'll tell you what. I think it might be because these two GP's offices aren't up and running. So what I'll do is build a new staff room. That might not be a bad idea over here. Now, I can make it kind of small. Which I don't hate the idea of doing. So I think we are going to do like a little, a wee little staff room here. We'll do like a retro chair kind of in that, uh, in that, that space there. We'll do a nice triangle table in this corner. We'll do a little retro TV right about there. It's not going to be the fanciest of staff rooms whatsoever. It really isn't. But it'll, it'll do the job. You know, it's, it's, it's good enough. Uh, so radiator can live there. And we can do, we could do some plants. I'll just do an entertaining cabinet right there. So that'll, that'll be fine. So a little staff room. And then what we can go ahead and do as well is go to rooms. We can go to toilets. And I want to do this. A nice big one. So that people can, uh, you know, go to the toilet over here. Basically, plain and simple. So we'll do the entrance there. And we'll do one, two, three. And I think just three. Honestly, I think just the three cubicles will be fine. We'll put the sinks relatively close together. We'll do the hand dryers sort of one, two, and three. And we can go ahead and do an extinguisher by the door. We can do a plant uh, sort of, I guess, here. We can do a radiator sort of, I guess, right against that cubicle. We'll move the plant sort of down towards the radiator a little bit. And that looks fine. So that'll do the job for toilets. And then what we can do is grab another couple of GP's offices and just put them over here. So we'll just go up to however many. Although, our queues have gone down a bit. And we have also cured most of everybody. We just need another bit of hospital attractiveness. So, I think what we'll do is we are going to copy these GP's offices. Not that I think we need them, but I think I can use this to maybe get my hospital attractiveness up a little bit. So a couple of those guys, that'll be fine. We can do a couple of benches over here as well. So a couple of benches like that. And then what we can do is a bench right there, a bench there, and a bench there. And I can go ahead and put a drinks machine here, for example. And then hopefully, I mean, the area is kind of cold, so we're going to want to do a radiator there. And probably there as well, which heats it up nicely. But then, a plant. We can do another plant. I can get away with the plant down here as well, I think. Which is good. We're seeing some issues there. The game, I think, auto-saving or doing something. Uh, I can do a leaflet stand there. And there as well. And I'm hoping that we can just push the hospital attractiveness a little bit. I think we can do this. We could also do some benches down here now that I look at it. So, a bench right about there and a bench there. I want to put a plant in between them. Probably a radiator too. Yeah. So, radiator as well. Uh, plant. Hospital attractiveness is 74. We can we can do this. Come on. We can, we can, we can do this. Uh, so, plant right there. This room's not the most attractive. That's, that's fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this. I'm 100% gonna get this. We'll do a snack machine there. And now, people are dying left and right, man. 
What is this? Promote three staff? Sure. Cure six patients with codpiece? Sure. We're at 60, 76% on hospital attractiveness. You know, thinking about it, while we have this emergency going on, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to build another pharmacy and maybe get rid of one of these GP's offices. So if we go ahead and do a pharmacy right about there, we can do the door in the middle. We'll do the machine right there. We can get an extinguisher right about there. We can do some plants in the room as well to make it a bit nicer. We can do a nice canvas and that's probably fine. So that will hopefully deal with some of the issues with the emergency that's going on. And then I'm also wanting to go ahead and put some more bins in and around the hospital because I think we're probably still seeing yeah there, there's i mean that's a ghost did that but i want to make sure people aren't just like throwing up everywhere littering everywhere etc etc so hopefully hopefully that helps and hopefully i mean i don't know if we need more janitors i really don't but i'm gonna get another janitor and i'm gonna get another janitor and I'm going to hope that my janitors can actually keep up with the amount of plants that we have and actually water them because we're 77% on hospital attractiveness. We were roughly 77%. It, it, you know, it goes down to 76 from time to time. But hopefully the janitors can help us a little bit here. Hopefully they can get it up to 80%. I'm not really sure what's holding us back, to be honest. Oh, no. Oh no, what are we looking at? We got, oh, we got less this year. That's a bit rough. And now, oh boy. All right, we're gonna have a celebrity visit. All right, we're at 79, 79%, come on. How many more plants do I need to add? What else, what else do we need to do? I guess we upgrade, does upgrading things help? I actually don't know. What does this do? It just, it just makes the thing better. Sure, we'll upgrade it. I don't think it helps with hospital attractiveness, but we'll do it. We'll upgrade the drug mixer as well. I don't think we can upgrade the beds. No, we can't. Okay. Oh, man. Come on. Come on. 79% on hospital attractiveness. Do we have any, like, plants anywhere that are miserable looking? We have that one. We do. We have that one. We have that one as well. Looks kind of miserable. If we can make those plants less miserable looking... Is, is that going to help? <laughs> I don't, I genuinely don't. We're under 77%. What the hell? Hello? I, I, oh. oh, this game. This, this game, I tell you. I tell you. I, I don't understand why it's so difficult to do this. Uh, we cured two of six. That's bad. Uh, you want trained. Okay. I mean, I, I, I guess... I guess we could give you stamina training, and I guess we could have someone do it. I, I don't know. We'll have that janitor do it. We got some assistants that could do a stamina training as well. I, you know what? This guy requested it, so that's fine. You want me to earn $100,000? I think we can probably do that as well. So that'll be all right. How have we managed to get from 79 down to 76% on this thing? This is, it's kind of infuriating that it's, it's dropped that much already. I guess the plants are really... Is, is putting plants next to radiators a bad idea? I guess it would be, wouldn't it? I guess that would make sense. I... Hmm. Yeah, we... <laughs> we might want to not do that. that. That might be part of the problem. We also have this thing, which is interesting looking. I mean, we could put a giant mammoth in here. I... <laughs> I don't think we need it. I'm gonna be honest. I, I don't think I I don't think I want a giant mammoth in here right now. It'd be nice if people would stop dying too. I'll be honest. I'll tell you what, we have a rug over here. Let's do I don't know, a couple of sp can I do a space rug in here? No. No, it's invalid for room. Oh. Alright. Well I can do a space rug there. And I'll flip this one around and I'll put it sort of opposite i don't i don't know how i feel about that it looks a little ugh. it does look a little rough doesn't it not a fan okay what else can we do we have these charity dog things so what if i put a charity dog thing there 
I don't know if that's... Oh, God, another... Th okay. All right, we'll put a charity dog thing there as well. 79% again. Come on. Can people stop dying? You're making my hospital less attractive. Stop it. Stop it. Stop dying. You're hurting my hospital attractiveness, and I don't appreciate it. Okay? I just don't. Just, just stop it. I'm doing the, I'm doing the 80% thing. Stop dying! Why are they all dying? <laughs> How are we killing everybody? I, ge I genuinely don't know. I'm genuinely slightly confused about how we keep managing to just kill everybody. It seems like all of a sudden people have just like... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What is this? This is some kind of statue? Sure, we'll put a statue there. Um... I guess more statues are going to be a thing now. Um, I don't know where to put them. Maybe by the entrance? I don't know. Where? Where is particularly unattractive? I, I don't... I genuinely don't know. Um, we have this statue, which, to be honest, it's a big rock. It is just a big rock, isn't it? It, it is It is just a big rock, but we, we have that now. Um, okay. We're back down to 78%. <laughs> it's infuriating. It really is. It's 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 bothering me. This is this is starting to bother me. General practice three, please. We'll give it to you. We'll train it with you. That's fine. I don't <laughs> I don't know what to do, man. I've put as many plants into this hospital as I can manage. There's another one, right? Makes that room kind of appealing. What about over here? What about there, right? Back up to 79%. What about there? There is no way. There's no way this thing is not at like peak attractiveness now. There's no way. I don't <laughs> this place is miserable looking. Why is this miserable? Do we need do we need a plant in here? I feel like we need a plant in here. Maybe in the corner. So maybe this goes away and we give them an Hey! We did the thing! Oh my god! <laughs> that took way too long! We're d good! Continue! Or don't! Because I want to go back to the map and do literally anything else. Literally any other hospital than this one. Because here's the thing. Hold on a minute. Actually, no. A three-star hospital in this would be... Oh... It would be achievable. We just need to cure 75 people, which is going to take forever. And a cure rate of 85%. We can eventually do that if we stop killing everybody. And staff morale of 60 per, Well, it needs to be 85. Look, here's all we need to do for that, right? I'm not going to do all this. But if I was going to do all this, all we need to do is increase everybody's pay by a percentage until they're all happy, right? So that will push staff morale considerably. We'll just push them all a little bit happier. There we go. So now they're all thrilled. They all had a pretty considerable pay increase. So staff morale, I imagine, is going to go through the roof. Which is great. That's what we want. Hopefully that makes them better. I doubt it. They're just going to be paid better for a bad job. But that's that's fine. You want trained? Not now. You want to unblock three toilets? Go right ahead, bud. And we're back in the map. I'm, I'm not going for three stars on that. I'm just not. We do, however, have... The ability, oh boy, we do have the ability for clockwise before time, which is interesting. It's unlocked after one star and clockwise upon time. Recommended after one star on meltdowns. I don't think I've done meltdowns, so we're just going to leave it for now. We're not, we're not going to touch that. What we are going to do is we're going to go to, uh, not Flemington, we're going to go to Tumble next because here's the thing. Right? Here's here's the thing. I've done this 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 weird hospital. And now we're gonna go back and do two normal hospitals. We're gonna do Tumble. And we might only go for one star on Tumble because I want to go to Flemington. Because if I get a star on Flemington, I then unlock some of the stuff from the latest DLC. And I, I don't know where on the map that might be. I don't know if... I, I might need to install it. I, I think... I don't know. It might not be installed. Regardless, I want to try out some stuff from the latest DLC. 
and see what it's about. Because I've not really played much with any of the DLCs in this game. So that was kind of cool. And it'll be nice to get back to normal. And then it'll be nice to go to Flemington. And then it'll be nice to go to one of the DLCs, basically. Anyway, that's going to do us for today. That was more chaotic than it had any right to be. But I actually do like having a bit of a challenge in this game. It's 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 nice. So hopefully we do get a little bit of that in the new hospitals in Tumble and Flemington. But we'll, we'll find out next time, basically. So, you know, tune in next time to find out what happens on Dragon Ball Z. Bye!